Hello, OJR. I'm Lincoln Reisky. Today is Friday, October 2nd, and welcome to the first installment of the Paw Report for the 2021 school year. Are you struggling with Google Meet? I know I was. We sent Michael Bartman to make your Google Meet experience just a little more fluid. Hey, I'm Michael Bartman, reporting for the Paw Report, and I'm here to make your Google Meet experience just a little bit more intuitive. If you need to present your screen, the bottom right Present Now button and the Chrome tab listing is what you're after. Muting seems to be a common problem for most people. Google Meet Push to Talk is an extension which toggles your microphone when you press and hold a desired key. There are several other extensions such as Google Meet Grid View to view everyone in the call, as well as Tactic, which automatically saves notes once linked to Google. If you run a speed test and get below or close to 1 megabit per second, I would recommend ensuring that you are set to 360p in the settings window. And if you don't need to view video, you can go audio only for the best results. What would be your number one tip for students going through virtual classes right now? You're building skills right now of problem solving that you don't even know you're doing. Something doesn't load. Every time you get some kind of error message, you are now being given a challenge to, to find out what's happening. Uh, and that's the kind of skills that we encourage kids to join sports teams and to join band because you're going to continue to have challenges in life. And so right now, the best thing is to stay calm, roll with the punches and start diagnosing problems. Hopefully you're more comfortable with Google Meet. My only goal was to bring awareness. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you, Michael and Mr. Yoder. That was very helpful. This upcoming weekend is World Smile Day. Here's Hannah Wiley to give you some fun facts about smiling. Hello, OGR. I'm Hannah Wiley reporting for the Paw Report. This upcoming weekend on October 4th is World Smile Day, so I'm here to give you some fun facts about smiling. Did you know that smiling is contagious and also makes you sound more friendly? When smiling, it makes your voice sound happier and more engaging. This is why phone reps are taught to smile when answering the phone to achieve better customer service. Smiling also helps you live longer. It is proven that your emotional health affects your physical health. Due to this, smiling helps you live a longer and more relaxed life. Another interesting fact is that there are 19 different types of smiles, some of which are social smiles, embarrassed smiles, genuine smiles, and loving smiles. Lastly, smiling is the universal sign of happiness. The language you speak may be different, but smiling is universal wherever you are traveling or living. What makes you smile? My friends, my family, and sleeping. What makes me happy is spending time with friends and family and making sure we have a good relationship and really fun memories. What makes me happy is really working towards my goals in life, spending time with my family, and hanging out with my friends. Making other people smile makes me smile. Well, OJR, I hope you learned some interesting facts about smiling. Until next time, this has been Hannah Wiley reporting for The Fall Report. Have a great day, OJR. Wow, that segment certainly put a smile on my face. Thanks, Hannah. Well, OJR, that's our show for this week. You can find The Paw Report on the high school webpage under Wildcat TV, Canvas, and now on Instagram at OJRHS Paw Report. Have a great OJR, and thanks for watching.